Hi guys, this is Ravy from My World, and I just wanted to show you this week's patch. And we've been working on questing for the last well, four weeks now, and this week we've added in keys. So just to show you how it works in action, you see this archway door, can't get through there, it's locked. If we go to this indoor, that's locked too. So there's a few ways you can pick up keys. The first one is keys can just be placed in the world. So there's a key there, I pick that up, and that's called the in front door key. So I think I know what that opens. So if I go to my quest log, there's a new button for keys. I can see which keys I've picked up and not yet used. And that will be for the current world. So if I now run up to this door, it's unlocked. Go to the next door, that's locked. So second way to collect keys is from enemy, enemy stashes, which is the, the little bags that enemies drop if you set them to. That's a fairly new thing we've added in too. So they can now drop keys. I feel this unsuspecting skeleton. See what's in his bag. And he's got a skeleton key. So you can name these keys to whatever you like and you can set them to open whatever door you like. So now we see this door is now open, which is great. And then the third way of collecting a key is from a quest. I've got Killer Mushroom Warrior. There he is. So now you can see for the reward, I'm going to get a key, the arch key. Which opens the arch. So let's see, that's the three ways to get them. Very, very easy to set up as well, which I'll just show you in a second. We've also added some other um, gates, these ones, which are really nice. And also, my favourite, the big skull doors, which look really awesome. I can imagine them being really good for, to like gate off a, a boss. So that's the really good thing about the keys now, is that along with the other things that we've done with questing, where we've got quests that can lock portals, so you, the portal will only unlock when you've done a specific quest, which again controls the gameplay, controls the flow of the map, you can't just run from one into another. We've also added um, quests that will start with one NPC and end with another NPC, and the, the one that it ends with is his or her's quest line is locked out until you've completed that, that particular quest. So again you can control where the action happens and where the, and how the story unfolds. And these uh, these keys obviously help out with that as well because you could have a town that's locked and you can't get out until you've completed certain tasks in the town. Or like I said about the boss, you could have the, the boss that's uh, hidden, hidden in a fortress where it's locked and the only way to, to fight him is at the right time when you've completed the right quest and got the right key. It's very easy to, to set up, so let's go into edit mode and have a look. So first we've got the key that was on the ground. So I'll just click on choose lock. You can see I've just named it here. You can name it whatever you like. I've ticked that it unlocks a door. And then it's telling me which door it's, uh, it's unlocking, which as we know is that one. So if we just press on that button, we can just put the mouse over any door inside or outside of a building and it will it will pick that particular door so if, if for instance we wanted to swap uh, we wanted this door we wanted this key to open this door so I click on it now it's changed the door fortress entrance and change the name of it to big skull key and what that does much like the the portal's been locked. If, if a portal is unlocked by a quest, then when the game starts, it automatically turns that portal off. It's the same thing with the keys. If you set a key to open a specific door, it will detect that as the game starts and lock that door until you've got that key. So if we go into this uh, into play mode now, we'll see that the previous door that was locked, which was the inn, is now open because there's no key for it anymore. And the big skull door is now locked because this key is set to unlock it. 
So it's as easy as that. It's very similar for the other, the other ones. Uh, the stash, something we added very recently, possibly even last week. Uh, can't remember; it's all a blur. But as well as um, collecting things in the wild, like apples and uh, rare treasures and things like that, and coins, um, you can also set the enemies to drop those things as well. So then it, it means you can mix up the quests a bit and say, I, I, I need, I've lost uh, 10 gold coins and five of them might be hanging around the place in these old ruins, but the other five might be carried by the skeletons, so you'd have to kill them to get them. So that's really cool. And also it adds to it with the keys. You can now tell it to drop a key and again name it and again pick the, the door that it unlocks. And then last one is the questing. So if we look at that one, again very similar. We can just you just say it rewards a key, and because we're getting a bit uh, tight on space on here, you can click on key settings, and it's very similar to the the original key one where you can just name it, select the door. And if you've not seen the the other new things that we've added, this is where we can you can say that this. This quest unlocks a portal, and again you can click and select which portal it unlocks. And you can also say that the quest ends with, and you can click on this and select an NPC that that quest will end with. So also, you'll pick up the quest from this NPC, but when you complete it, you'll have to hand it into someone else. And their and their own quests, that that end person, their own quest will be locked out until you've done that one. That's all good stuff. And obviously then the multiple kills. So you can select multiple kill and collection targets. So that's keys. Hope you like it and I'll see you again soon.